guys? I hope you're all doing well. Hope you all had an awesome week. And let me say, I've been real impressed with all the money you guys have been bringing and putting in your piggy banks. It's been awesome. Today, when you guys are watching this, on, if you're watching on Sunday, is the last day to bring money for your piggy banks. Of course, it's not the last day you guys can give, but this is the last day that we're going to be putting money in our piggy banks. And this week, I'll be counting all that up. And remember, like I said, if we hit $200, if we hit our goal, then I'll be taking personal candy orders from all of you and I'll get whatever kind of bag of candy you want just for you, whatever kind of candy. So uh, super impressive what you guys have done so far. You guys have been really giving and bringing a lot of money and that's awesome. So hopefully you guys will keep, uh, keep that up even after this. So today is the last day of our Piggy Bank University series. We're talking about money. So we've talked about how we can earn money and how that's a gift from God when we can work and earn money and use that money. We've talked about giving money and you guys have been doing great at that. And we've talked about saving money and how God wants us to be wise with how we save money and set it aside for other things later down the road. So you guys can probably guess, right? The last thing we're gonna be talking about today is probably your favorite thing to do, to do right? That's probably, was always my favorite thing to do as a kid is spend money. All right. I don't know about you guys, but when I was a kid, as soon as I got $5, $10, however much it was, if I got money for my birthday, I wanted to go right to the store and spend it as quick as I could, right? I'm sure, and there's all sorts of things you can spend your money on, like some of these things here. You could go to the store and you could spend some money on, on some board games or different games, or, or maybe you like to spend money on video games. You could spend money on candy, which I know a lot of you guys like. Even five, ten dollars can buy you a lot of candy, right? Or I think this was probably my favorite thing to spend money on when I was a kid is Legos. Lego sets are expensive, aren't they? But you can spend a lot of money on Lego. That was always my favorite thing to do. Let's go buy a nice new Lego set and I'd put it together so quick and but that was always my favorite thing to spend money on. There's all sorts of things that we can spend money on, right? But as you could probably guess, like we've been talking about, God wants us to be wise with not how, not only how we earn money and save money and give money, but of course also how we spend money too, right? Now, is there anything wrong with spending money on any of these things? No, of course not. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong if you want to buy yourself some candy or if you want to buy yourself a toy or anything like that. There's nothing wrong with that. But God doesn't want us to be wise with how we spend our money. Now, it's probably not the wisest decision if we, you know, if I, if I only have $50 and I've got some bills I need to pay or maybe I have a, I need to get my mom or dad a gift and I blow all $50 of that money on a Lego set right before I'm supposed to buy a birthday present, it's probably not the wisest idea, right? And in our Bible story that we're talking about today, a woman, that, you know, the disciples are, are gathered and are eating a meal with Jesus, and a woman comes and she brings a super expensive, really expensive bottle of perfume, and everyone knows that it's worth a lot of money. And she brings this bottle of perfume, and you know, there's probably a lot of things she could have done with that perfume. She could have sold it and made a lot of money, right? She could have spent that on something, on lots of different things. But she comes and she brings that perfume and she uses it to wash Jesus' feet. And she spends, spends that on Jesus. And of course, a lot of the other, you know, the disciples and others in the room said, she shouldn't have done that. She wasted that. She could have used it for so many other things. She could have used that money for so many other things. But spending money on Jesus ever a waste? No, of course not. But you know, how do we, you know, Jesus isn't here physically like he was back then, so so how do we, you know, spend money on Jesus or spend money for Jesus? I mean, you could do that a lot of different ways, right? We could do it by, by giving like we've been talking about, or you could even, you could even buy one of these things and spend money on one of these things, but give it to somebody else who maybe needs it more, or give it as a gift to somebody else. Or maybe you've been in the drive-thru before and your family has bought uh, a meal for somebody behind you. There's all sorts of different ways that even though we can't give, you know, give Jesus money physically, that we can spend money for Jesus. And anytime we spend 
money on Jesus, of course, it's, it's never a waste, right? So I hope you guys, even as we finish this series, can continue to, to give money and save money and spend money wisely um, as, you, as you hopefully continue to, to earn it. But uh, I think that's, that's going to wrap it up this series for us. So uh, I look forward to showing you guys how much money that you guys have raised to help towards growing God's kingdom, to help build a new building so we can have more people come and learn about Jesus. So look forward to hearing about that soon. But as for now, let's pray and we'll call it a day. So high five, high ten, hands together, under the chin. God, I thank you so much for today. Lord, I just thank you for the gifts that you've given us and the money and the resources that you've blessed us with. Help us to spend money wisely, Lord, and to know best how to spend it and to spend it in a way that's honoring and glorifying to you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you guys.